Okay, today's short uh, doodle convo is uh, we're going to say we are fixing lack of ideas the ancient Roman way, <clears throat> which is to say one of my favorite quotes is by Cicero, who said, I criticize via creation, not by finding fault. And, uh, and I think this is a great way to come up with ideas and to get yourself started again if you've run out of ideas. So how I do that is I think of something I've consumed lately, you know, some kind of story that has disappointed me or bored me or frustrated me, something, it just didn't work for me. And instead of being like, you know what, um, I should have done, you know, they should have done that better. I think I could do that better. And then I start thinking up ways that maybe um, I could do a similar story that fixes the problem I had with it. And this is an evergreen technique that works with nearly everything. Um, it works with character. So for instance, I was frustrated that there don't seem, there doesn't seem to be very many parents or religious types in science fiction. So I wrote Spot the Space Marine, who had a uh, Catholic mom in it as a main character. You can do it with setting. So for instance, um, I, in the early 80s, it was a big thing to have lots of stories that had uh, caste-based societies in them, and they were always evil. And I thought, well, this is expected now. I wonder if there's some way that you could make a caste society that wasn't evil. And that's how I ended up with Karishdar. You can do it with plot. Um, for instance, I found it very frustrating that almost every book for young people is like, if you follow your heart and buck the trends and don't do what your um, elders tell you, then you will find happiness. And I'm like, mm, you know, sometimes it doesn't work. And I wish there was a story about how you recover from that. And that's how I ended up with Girl on Fire. You can do it with structure. I'm very frustrated that the Lord of the Rings structure where uh, there's a very long denouement is no longer a big thing. So now I tend to write lots of stories with very long denouements. Um, my fantasy trilogy uh, that starts with an heir to Blood and Thorns is nothing but I think the last third of it is nothing but denouement. You can do it with tropes. Um, like I hate that there are a few stories in science fiction that don't have only aliens and no humans. So I wrote all the Joka books based on that. So basically you just go and you find things that frustrate you or disappoint you or you wish they had been different. And instead of trying to make the existing thing fit your expectations better, you just go out and say, you know what, how would I write that or change that or make something different that kind of gets at the same desire, but you know, it, it, it addresses the issue that I had with it. So that is my suggestion for today is if you have run out of ideas and don't know where to go next and are hunting for some kind of inspiration, Think of something lately that disappointed you and that you wish had been done different and figure out how you would do it different and try it.